Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, purple shaded uh, trapezoid uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, segment uh, A, D is equal to this segment uh, A, B. And moreover, uh, this segment uh, C, D is one unit. And furthermore, uh, the perimeter of this uh, trapezoid has been given to us as 14 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, given uh, trapezoid. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let me go ahead and label uh, the side lengths uh, of this uh, trapezoid. Let me label uh, this uh, side uh, AD as uh, X then this uh, a b side is going to be x uh, as well and i'm going to label uh, this side uh, b c as uh, y then the perimeter of this uh, trapezoid is going to be simply x uh, plus x uh, plus y plus one so therefore i'm going to call the perimeter as p is going to be equal to x uh, plus uh, x uh, plus y plus uh, one let's uh, combine the like terms and we know the perimeter has been given to us as 14 so therefore i'm going to substitute that one 14 over here so therefore this become 14 equals to 2x plus y plus one and now i'm going to subtract one from both sides this is uh, gone so therefore i can write uh, 2x uh, plus y is going to be equal to 13 and now i'm going to move this uh, 2x uh, on the other side so therefore uh, we are going to have y equals to 13 minus uh, 2x so therefore our this uh, side length uh, bc which is represented by y turns out to be 13 minus uh, 2x and here is our next step. I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular DE on this uh, side uh, AB. And as a result, we got this uh, right triangle uh, AED. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AED. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole side AB is uh, X. If this side length uh, CD is 1, then this uh, side length uh, EB is going to be 1 as well. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, AE is going to be simply X uh, minus 1. And furthermore, uh, we know that this uh, side length BC is going to be equal to this side length uh, DE. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, DE is going to be equal to 13 minus uh, 2X as well. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, x, and our two other legs are x minus 1 and 13 minus 2x. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So this is going to give us uh, x uh, minus 1 rather whole uh, square plus uh, 13 minus uh, 2x uh, whole square equal to x uh, square. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity. a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply this identity on these uh, two binomials on the left hand side. So therefore this is going to give us uh, x square minus uh, 2x uh, plus uh, 1 plus 169 minus uh, 52x uh, plus uh, 4x uh, square equals to x uh, square. And now we can see x square and x square they are gone on both uh, sides. Let's combine the like terms. And now I'm going to divide uh, each and every term uh, by 2 across the board to make things uh, simple. So that is going to give us uh, 2x uh, square minus uh, 27x uh, plus uh, 85 uh, equals to 0. 
So therefore we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation 2x square minus 27x plus 85 equal to 0 and we are going to solve uh, this one by grouping uh, and factoring. And you may use the quadratic formula as well to solve this given uh, quadratic uh, equation. And here's our next step. Let's multiply out uh, these uh, two numbers. Uh, 2 times uh, 85. I'm going to write it down uh, over here. And now we can see 85 could be broken down to 5 times uh, 17. So therefore this whole thing could be written as 2 times uh, 5 times 17 and now let's multiply 2 times 5 that is going to give us 10 so therefore we can write this thing as 10 times 17 and now we can see if we add 10 and 17 that is going to give us 27 this number so therefore we are going to tweak this middle term this could be written as negative 10 x minus 17 x as you can see in this uh, next step i have uh, substituted this uh, middle term by this one and now we can see two x is in common between first two terms and here we got uh, negative 17 is in common so therefore i can write uh, two x uh, times uh, x uh, minus uh, five uh, and then minus uh, 17 times uh, x minus 5 equal to 0 and now we can see these two terms are in common so therefore I can write uh, x minus 5 times 2x uh, minus 17 turns out to be equal to 0 and now we are going to separate uh, these two factors so the first factor is going to be x minus uh, 5 uh, equal to 0 and the other factor is going to be 2x minus 17 equal to 0. For this first equation, x value turns out to be equal to positive 5. For this second equation, our x value is going to be 17 divided by 2. And now let's make an observation. If we plug it in this uh, x equal to 17 divided by 2 value, over here then this is going to give us uh, 13 minus 2 times our x value is 17 divided by 2 and that is going to give us 13 minus 17 that is going to give us uh, negative 4 and we know that uh, this is our side length so side length cannot be a negative number so therefore we are going to reject uh, this uh, x equal to 17 divided by 2 value and we are going to accept this uh, x equal to 5 value. So thus our x value turns out to be equal to 5. So therefore uh, this x uh, value is going to be 5. This x value is going to be 5. And over here this uh, 13 minus uh, 2 times x and x value is 5. So that is going to give us uh, 13 minus uh, 10. That is going to be equal to 3. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, purple shaded trapezoid. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area equals to height h times a plus b all over 2. And in our case, uh, our height uh, h uh, is uh, 3. Our base uh, a is uh, 5. And our base uh, b is uh, 1. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. Our height uh, is uh, 3 divided by 2 times uh, our base uh, A is uh, 5 and our base B is uh, 1. Let's simplify. That is going to give us uh, 3 divided by 2 and this 5 plus 1 is going to give us uh, 6. And if we simplify everything that is going to give us uh, 9. So therefore uh, the area of this uh, trapezoid turns out to be 9 uh, square uh, units. So thus the area of this uh, purple trapezoid turns out to be 9 uh, square units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.